What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and we're back with a creation that is really, really cool and I'm really excited to show you guys and that is this sort of quadcopter racing drone here. A little while ago, I showed you guys the coaxial helicopter which used two rotors on top of each other and actually varied the spinning speeds of the two of them to rotate the helicopter and a lot of you guys mentioned in the comments to try and make a full out quadcopter and I really thought about it and I said, you know, I want to make a quadcopter that uses realistic controls and we're not going to talk too much about how it works just yet, but really simply, if we look at it on the lift, you'll see there's no thrusters. All it uses is wing pieces for the propellers and smart engines to actually control varying speeds. And by controlling it properly, we can actually have a quadcopter that gives us full motion controls just like a plane. So we can jump in here and we'll just hold one, which will ramp up our rotors. And then of course we can press W to tilt forward and we can roll left with A, roll right with D, and four and five will yaw us in either direction. So we can try and fly through this course here, and you can't go too fast. It is sort of a racing drone. It's got that racing drone style, but if you spin too fast, of course, the Wings mod script will just explode, and there's no real limit on it. You can just keep holding one to spin faster and faster, and you can see we're actually picking up a lot of speed, but a little too much. Oh, it's a little, see, it's a, oh boy, it's a little, yeah, the script is, oh, too much, too much, too, hold two, hold two, okay. Okay, okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna, okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah, if you spin it too fast, the script freaks out. You don't really want to do that, but we can get back in the seat here. And let's try this again. Here we go, perfect. Awesome, all right, we're flying forward, excellent. And so this entire quadcopter actually uses all its controls completely, you know, WASD, left, right, all that. It uses really six controls to fly, just like a plane, but it doesn't use a single thruster or glitch to actually manipulate those controls. All the controls... The left, right, up and down, all these maneuvers that we can do. And uh, it can actually fly and do some crazy stuff, you can see. But all these maneuvers that we can do, we're doing simply by adjusting the spinning speed of each of the rotors relative to the other rotors. So it's a really, really cool idea. And I really wanted to try that with this build. That was sort of the inspiration was to make a quadcopter that can fly like a quadcopter in real life. And I'm pretty sure quadcopters in real life use something similar to this where they just adjust the individual motor speeds to adjust the tilts and angles and all that. But it's a really, really cool creation, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And of course, we'll take a look at how it works. We'll just try and fly through as many of these corners as possible. Now, it doesn't go as fast as I would like it. Obviously, those racing drones in real life, they go super, super quick. But unfortunately, we're kind of stuck with the limit to the scripts on the Wings mod. And if we increase it too much the scrap mechanic script just kind of breaks and freaks out and i think i have it a little bit too high right now so we'll just kill the throttle and then we'll hold one and bring it back up to speed there we go so you just want to make sure you find a good comfortable speed but it's a lot of fun to fly around and it's really really cool to fly with something that uses this kind of control method of course i would like to make this drone super fast i would have wanted to make a really really fast one it would have been i tried to do as much as i could to speed it up including changing the angles of the props but it seems like you always run into the issue where when the wings start spinning too fast they just don't really do what you would expect and they kind of send your creation flying rather than sending it in a consistent direction the key with this is each of the four rotors has to give you like a constant force if one of them starts giving you too much compared to the others then you'll tilt in that direction and that's actually kind of how we you know manipulate this whole craft and uh but it's really really fun to fly and it's actually not that bad of course it is difficult to fly because you have to keep it tilted and uh, of course the controls are a little sensitive and that's just so you can actually you know do flips and stuff if you want to like we can we can do some sky dancing it's wonderful We'll just uh, pull out of that. Perfect. So, of course, if you keep it at a nice, like, you know, slow speed on the rotors, then it's really, really stable to fly, and it's super, super stable. And then, of course, th this is the main reason why I kind of wanted to give people variable speed. If you keep holding it, you'll go faster and faster and faster. But, I mean, the faster you go, the more sensitive the controls become. So, it's a very, very difficult thing. You got to really watch, you know, like, we're going pretty quick here. Oh, almost clipped that. And, uh, you know, the controls are getting a little bit more sensitive. Oh boy, oh boy, let's just slow it down. Oh, there we go, roll it back this way. Yeah, oh no, 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 okay. Perfect, there we go, nice slow speed. Of course, you can always hit three to kill the thrust, and then you can hold one again to bring it back up. And if you fly it nice and slow, I mean, it's the best drone. I'd love to see if someone's actually made a quadcopter racing drone that doesn't use any glitches and moves really, really quick. I mean, it's really, really difficult with the way that we're controlling this to find a good balance. 
It goes pretty quick though. I mean, it's not it's not like the slowest thing in the world. We can't of course use it in first person. Uh, strict follow cam. It just oh boy, it's it's the fact that the camera doesn't rotate. Okay, it's very difficult to no 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 oh 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 goodness oh goodness oh boy. Okay, can we we'll just line up straight here. Free camera no follow cam. Okay, okay we're really high up. Okay, we got to rotate that way. Okay, the the camera really needs to pitch with the with the creation that would be so much better rather than just sort of staying aligned with it it would be awesome if it actually pitched properly but anyways maybe like a super strict camera that just no matter what pitches and rotates the camera and stuff because flying something like this you can see the camera kind of it doesn't always stay lined up with the creation and we're like really high up we're, we're doing okay now but definitely difficult to fly in first person. If there was a camera mod where you could actually do it, now I know you can't do that in Scrap Mechanic yet. There's no way to do like a portable camera, but if there was, then I would definitely make this remote controlled and put a portable camera on it. But unfortunately, because of that, we've actually just got a seat for the Polygon mod pack. So when you sit on it, your character becomes invisible. So really our character is just kind of sitting on top of the uh, entire creation. And that's why our camera is sort of positioned here. But look at this. Look at how low we're... Oh, no. We clipped. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. So some of you have probably already figured out how this works. But in case you're wondering how it flies, it's actually really, really cool. So we use four smart engines from the mod pack. And each of the smart engines is connected to that white block there on the top. And those white blocks are very, very important. They have to stay white in order to control the speed of the smart engine. Now, they are set to rotate in opposite directions. So you can see these two on the front both rotate out. And these two on the back both rotate in. And you can see if we start spinning them super slowly, you can see that rotation angle. Now, what makes this cool is how it controls them. So with the coax, when we wanted to rotate in the one direction, we would speed up the one rotor and slow down the other rotor by the same speed in order to change the net torque. And that would rotate the whole craft in one direction or the other. Now with this, we're doing a very similar thing, but we're doing it in six different directions. So it's really, really cool. So to tilt forward, you need to decrease the front two and increase the back two. So we'll speed up here a little bit just so you can see the effect of this. And if we hold W, you'll see the back two increase a lot. And actually that's enough to try and lift us up a little bit. And the front two decrease a lot. Now when we have our rotor spinning faster, you don't really notice this change in speed as much. But it's enough you can see to tip the whole craft forward. And then of course to go S in reverse, same thing. The front two increase and the back two decrease and it tips the whole craft backwards. Now to go left and right, we do it in pairs on the sides. So left, if we hold A, you can see it rotates the two right ones and it decreases the two left ones. And if we hold D, it increases the two left ones and the two right ones. And it's a really, really cool effect how this works. And all we're doing is changing the speeds of each motor relative to each other. And of course, that gives us the control of the vehicle. So to do the yawing left and right to actually rotate the craft, it's a little bit different. Instead of increasing them side to side, you got to increase them in diagonals because all we want to do is change the torque, but we don't want to change the actual craft. So you can see the two on each diagonal are rotating in the same direction. The front right and the back left rotate in the one direction and the front left and the back right rotate in the other direction. So if we increase the two spinning in the one direction and decrease the two spinning in the opposite direction, we'll change the net torque on the craft. So if we hold four, you can see it increases those two and decreases the other two. And if we hold five, it does the opposite. And that actually will change the whole rotation of the craft just by adjusting the torque. And of course, when you put all the elements together, you get a craft that can actually, you know, fly and do whatever you want. And it's really, really cool. So we can fly it. We're, of course, just pitching constantly. Now, this is why when you let go of the control, it kind of wants to go back to the center point and then it'll overshoot it just because the thrust is always pulling up on those four rotors. So you constantly have to, you know, tap W to counteract the fact that the back two rotors are going back to that normal speed. We could potentially do some more crazy controls to adjust for this, but kind of run out of space on this one. Might have to make a little bit bigger one or, uh, you know, do some sort of glitch welding or something to combine all the circuits together, but... We could potentially make a quadcopter that flies a little more stable without direct controls. Like most quadcopters I believe that you buy use some sort of computer assistance so that, you know, you don't get direct control over it. Like if you press forward on a remote control quadcopter, I'm pretty sure it doesn't just keep pitching until it rolls. Maybe these racing drones are a little bit different. I'm not exactly sure how they're controlled, but I'm pretty sure there's some computer assistance going on there to make sure, you know, you can fly it a little bit easier. But I'm not positive, and I'm sure someone who's actually played around with these will... Oh, oh boy. Oh, yeah. No, that's... that's We'll just kill it. 
To be honest, I was just really excited about this build to make something that actually, you know, flies just by manipulating speeds of propellers. I think it's really, really cool. It's very quiet, obviously. The smart engines don't really make any noise. But I thought it was really, really cool to be able to, you know, live adjust the speeds and actually have that affect the entire craft. And be able to actually use that sort of similar to how you would do it in real life. In real life, we don't have, you know, thrusters on little quadcopters and stuff like that. And we don't have infinite powered suspension glitches that can rotate it so being able to actually you know manipulate the speeds of the spinning propellers and only change the one parameter you want i think is just really really cool about scrap mechanic and you can see even if we like level off like this we can hold four it'll rotate in the one direction and hold five just by again changing torques and the roll controls same thing and then of course the pitch controls the same thing and i think it's just really really powerful that the game lets you do that i know it uses a script but it's still awesome that those sort of basic principles still apply. But of course, I'd love to hear what you guys think of this creation in the comments down below. I will upload it to the workshop. It doesn't use any drag reducer blocks or anything like that. It just uses the mod pack and uh, I believe the wings mod to get those rotor blades. But really, really cool stuff and I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. So let me know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see y'all next time.